All right, y'all. Today we're gonna be doing some welding. I am, I hadn't planned on uh, recording anything here, but I figured if anything, it'd get some laughs and some comments on how bad my welding is because it's definitely not good. But the bracket that holds his deck on the left side has broken. I've already taken my porter cable and cleaned it up. It is three sixteenths thick. So per my titanium with the uh, 0.030 wire, it should be set between eight and 10 and between G and I. And I have it set right in the middle in H and I have it set on nine. So hopefully it gives some good penetration. But this bracket, which is now two pieces, should look like that bracket that is one piece. So like I said, definitely not good at welding at all, but hopefully this will be strong enough to not break again in the near future because I will have to probably refix it. So uh, let me get the welder turned on and let's see how this goes. And also on top of this, uh, he ripped the hole straight out of the deck well, where the wheels mount up right here. So I'm going to straighten that out and then I have uh, these things for the dirt bike back wheel tensioners, which happen to be just the correct size that he needs. So I'm going to just chop the edge off there, straighten it out, and then I'm going to weld one on both sides and hopefully his wheel will fit back on. And on this side, he didn't tell me about how jacked up it was. So I'll try to figure something out. Or maybe I'll just put the washer on one side and that's it. And this is also bent all the crap. This should be about 30 degrees more this way. And the deck is squished in. And his trailer pins broke. So there's a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed, but we're working on the lawnmower today. Hopefully get the mount done up and the wheels halfway good to go. So let's try to fix this first. A grinding paint makes me the world I ain't. So I'll take that all day long. Hit it with some paint real quick and I'll be right back. We are back and it looks brand new. Just black instead of yellow. And on that bend, it wasn't, and it, it was like a, just a folded gap like that. So I took it and I whittled that bend all the way around as well, filled that gap. So hopefully it makes it a little bit stronger. So I'm going to get this reinstalled on the cup of debt and then I'm going to see if I can work on uh, taking those wheel chain adjusters and put them on the deck so hopefully the wheels stay put. Welder and paint, ooh, grinder and paint makes me the welder, I ain't. So the deck mount is installed and looking good up in there. You see the only black piece that ain't yellow. So now we are going to get onto the wheel mount and what I'm going to do is take this um, chain tensioner and weld it on right now and hope that it sticks. Damn these thick ass fucking gloves. So everything is welded up for how long it's gonna be. So the boat kind of goes through there. And then this washer 
will just bolt on the back before the nut because I'm not going to try to weld that. So hopefully that gives it enough support where the wheel won't come off again. Uh, hopefully, but I don't know how good that's going to work. So, eh, it's free. So we got it all in there, everything is good, it ain't got but a little bit of shake in it, and I think the issue was that the the, the bolts were loose, and then it was wobbling, then it overed out the hole, and this has got a little wobble to it, so hopefully it won't get no worse, because if it gets any worse, I just don't know what to tell. So I think everything with the lawnmower is done, got the mount uh, fixed, rewelded. it, Got some little washers welded on both sides for the sort of wheels are on and are not wallowing around. And hopefully, this cup of debt will live for another half a season. So, you know, I'm not a professional. I don't claim to be. I just do stuff that's ugly and strong, like your mom. So, like everything you do, think, build, enjoy. Peace.